Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Although we so wish we could be together, this evening is truly a special time to celebrate our noble students. Though we could not have imagined that this would be the way we would celebrate the commencement of these remarkable individuals, we are thrilled to celebrate our noble graduates of 2020. As Walt Disney said, around here, we keep moving forward, opening new doors and doing new things. This evening, our noble graduates are ready to open their new doors and begin their new journeys. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Michelle Moisson, and I am your Master of Ceremonies for this evening. On behalf of our graduating class and the staff of Belver District High School, it is my pleasure to welcome you to our 72nd Annual Commencement. We acknowledge that we are on the land surrounded by water, originally inhabited by Indigenous peoples who have traveled this area since time immemorial. This territory is within lands honored by the Wampum Treaties, agreements between the Anishinaabe, Haudenosaunee, Lenape, Lenape, and allied nations to peacefully share and care for the resources around the Great Lakes. Specifically, we would like to acknowledge the presence of the Three Fires Confederacy, Ojibwe, Odawa, Potawatomi, and Huron-Wendat peoples. We are dedicated to honoring Indigenous history and culture while remaining committed to moving forward respectfully with all First Nations, Inuit, and Métis. At this time, Anna Gramostanu, one of our noble graduates, will be accompanied by our music teacher, Mr. Nathan Walstead, to perform our national anthem. Graduates, families, friends, staff, it is my pleasure and honor to be able to address you this evening on behalf of the Board of Trustees. All of my colleagues and I would, of course, prefer to be with you in person for this occasion. However, I know that you understand why that's not possible right now. I hope you also appreciate, as we do, the effort of your school community to create this presentation to acknowledge, at this time, the Class of 2020. This has been a difficult period for everyone, students, their families, teachers, and administrators. It has been, in every way, a crisis. A crisis, but not a catastrophe. We have, with the highest intention and incredible creativity, continued to provide high-quality educational opportunities in as manageable a format as possible. I am proud that we have shown and seen exceptional strength, fortitude, and resilience but that is merely my perspective. The most important assessment, however, should be your own. How did you perform as an individual, as a citizen, as a student? This should not just be applicable to the past few months, though. Your greatest, your most sincere responsibility should always be to yourself during an emergency, as well as each and every day. We are marking your achievements in school to date so I hope you smiled today and said, well done. You have made it through these past few months, but more significantly, you have endured all kinds of different tests over your years in school. You may not have chosen all these challenges, but you have accepted them 
and done what was required to succeed. I urge you to use the experience, recent and former, to continue to strive and to achieve. I look forward to the opportunity of congratulating you face to face at the appropriate time and in the appropriate fashion. Congratulations, and I wish you much success in your future. Thank you very much. Graduates, family members, friends, staff, welcome to what we hope will be a unique experience for everyone. This is not the ceremony that anyone envisioned when the year began or at any point in our collective memories. Though I'm extremely thankful that we have the technology and resources to be able to provide this modest recognition of your exceptional achievements. We also appreciate the efforts of all those who have taken the time and energy to produce this video. Excuse my predisposition as an educator, but I do have a question for the class of 2020. However, this quiz will not be graded and there's no correct answer. What have we learned from COVID-19 pandemic and the impact it has had on us educationally, socially, and emotionally? Take a moment, maybe later, to think about this through a lens of gain and not loss. Sure, we've sacrificed many things for our health and well-being, as well as for those around us. But I know you can also consider the ways in which we have grown and the things we now appreciate previously that we may have taken for granted and how our perspective on our place in the world has evolved in the last three to four months. For instance, I think we can agree that all learning doesn't have to happen in a classroom. And lessons don't just come from textbooks. Our experiences in the world can teach us a great deal. Some of you may be watching this alone, but I think you realize that you're not by yourselves. There are many people that you don't see on this screen and probably haven't seen for some time who are supportive and concerned about your well-being. Graduates, you belong to an exclusive fellowship. Your final year of high school is historical in nature. Each of you, and all those in every other high school in this province, can lay claim to the experience not shared by any other cohort of students in a century of public education. While significant, one year is a mere sliver of a student's experience and should not overshadow the value or importance of your entire adventure. Look back on this year as a moment, an episode in a long-running binge-worthy series, and how many great shows that you've watched in the last few months had disappointing finales, or final episodes that weren't perfect, but were still good enough to be entertaining. So we urge you all to take all that experiential learning, as well as what you've received in your classes, labs, and lectures, and use that to be good citizens, whether you're alone at home, with your families in the future, or during gatherings of more than five people. Congratulations, and I wish you all health, happiness, and success. You make me very hopeful about the future. At this time, Mr. Larry Ash, principal, will extend the greetings from the staff of Bell River District High School. It's a great privilege today for me to address the Bell River District High School graduating class of 2020. Every year I usually look out in the audience at the St. Clair Centre for the Arts and I see the graduates, parents, guardians, other family members, our school board administration and of course our Bell River staff. However, this COVID year I just have an empty parking lot. This doesn't change though the fact that you should be proud tonight of all that you've accomplished. Yes, you've all successfully completed your secondary school years and ready to embark on a new journey. Some of you are planning to enter the world of work after graduation. Some of you are preparing to attend college or university in the fall. And some of you are going to take time off to perhaps travel or discover your true talents and interests. No matter your path or your plan, unfortunately, some of you might have to start it remotely. Yes, a little COVID joke on her graduating night. It's traditionally now the time that a principal says a couple of inspirational messages to inspire our noble graduates to go on forward and do some great things. However, this world has changed since the March break. What was once predictable is no longer. What was once expected is also no longer. And of course, what was once normal is far from normal now. This new reality is shocking to someone my own age, so I cannot imagine how all of you must feel trying to process all the school closure for the last 
three and a half months, other than feeling tired because you've stayed up late, maybe gaming and not showing up for your first period, 8.15 a.m. team meeting with your teachers. So how does one go about providing guidance in a time of a pandemic? Well, I'll be honest with you, I cannot think of more inspirational items in some of the conversations I've had with the many parents and family members of this Bell River community. A lot of the parents and relatives are working hard during this time. They're working long hours in our grocery stores, so we are fed. In our long-term care homes, caring for all of our loved ones. And in hospitals locally or across the border, trying to save lives. There are many students that have not seen their mother in over a month because she can't come home. She's working in a Detroit hospital and staying in a hotel in Michigan. With the virus rampant, they cannot risk the lives of their family here in Bell River. Today's heroes don't wear capes. They wear scrubs, first responder uniforms, and face masks, serving the public in need. So yes, graduation this year is not the same. Your prom night is gonna be completely different, and I know it's disappointing. But what should not be missed is the extraordinary actions of just ordinary people all around us. If you need inspiration for your future, don't look at heroes in movies or at NHL arenas, look around our own Bell River community. Nobles, in closing, go forward and be kind. We always speak of the pride in the noble family taking care of each other, so now is that time. Know that there is an elegance and a grace in doing your part for caring for our elderly, helping a neighbor in need, protecting our community, saving lives, and obviously serving others. Finally, once again, congratulations to the Bell River District High School Class of 2020. Thank you, Mr. Ash. The honor of giving the salutatory address goes to a remarkable graduating student. They are chosen for recognition by the teaching staff. We at Bell River District High School have the tradition of extending greetings in both official languages. Isher Mundi will now give the French salutatory. Isher. Bonsoir, Madame et Messieurs, et bienvenue à la remise de diplôme de Bell River District High School de la classe 2020. J'aimerais souhaiter la bienvenue à nos invités distingués qui sont chez eux en train de visionner cette cérémonie avec nous. La directrice d'éducation, Madame Erin Kelly, notre surintendant, Dr. Sharon Pike, le conseiller, Monsieur Ron Leclerc, et notre conseillère scolaire, Madame Alicia Higginson. Je veux aussi remercier les professeurs, les amis, les parents et surtout les finissants et finissantes de nous rejoindre ce soir pour célébrer cette réussite énorme. Cette cérémonie démontre la fin de notre vie adolescente. Mais nous sommes ici, ensemble, pour célébrer les débuts de toutes les possibilités infinies de notre futur. Bien que nous ne puissions pas physiquement traverser la scène et recevoir notre diplôme en personne, à la fin, cette cérémonie représente plus que cela. Nous sommes tous réunis ici pour célébrer les innombrables nuits tardives qu'on a passées pour recevoir des bonnes notes pour célébrer les amitiés que nous avons établies et les leçons que nous avons apprises à propos de nous-mêmes. Nous sommes ici pour célébrer le développement de chacun dont on a fait connaissance depuis la première fois qu'on est entré à l'école secondaire. Je suis fière de faire partie d'un groupe d'élèves si accompli et je pense que je parle pour nous tous quand je dis que je suis fière d'être un noble. Si vous choisissez de continuer votre vie au travail, à l'université, au collège ou même si vous revenez à Belle-Rivière, prenez ce temps pour réfléchir à toutes les réussites que nous avons accomplies pendant nos quatre années au secondaire. Définir cette partie de notre vie est quelque chose de laquelle on devrait être fier et c'est seulement le début du restant de nos vies. Félicitations aux finissants et finissantes de la classe de 2020. J'espère que vous passez une belle soirée. Merci. Merci, Isher. I now call on Simone Iaquinta to give the first English salutatory on behalf of our STEPS program. Simone? Hello, friends, family, teachers, and honored guests. My name is Simone Iaquinta, and I am a student in the STEPS program at Bell River High School. I have been a proud noble for five years. Welcome to our 2020 graduation ceremony. Although we will not be crossing the stage together tonight, 
that does not weaken the bonds we have as nobles. Let's, let's always remember the fun times we st shared together. Congratulations, following graduates. Thank you, Simone. I now call in Haley Schmelzer to give the second English salutatory. Haley? Good evening, everyone, and welcome to all graduates, friends, families, and staff members. Although our 2020 graduation ceremony looks a little bit different this year, it's important that we come together to honor the outstanding achievements that we have accomplished throughout our entire high school journey. I'd like to welcome our Director of Education, Ms. Erin Kelly, our Superintendent of Education, Student Wellbeing, Dr. Sharon Pike, our trustees, Mr. Ron LeClaire and Ms. Alicia Higgison. I'm sure they're at home watching alongside us. Tonight is a night for all of us to remember as it marks the end of our four year journey at Bell River District High School. Four years filled with laughter and memories we will cherish and remember for years to come and people we will never forget. As we continue with our lives in either the workforce, post-secondary education, or a different path, we will always be a part of Noble Nation. And even during these tough times, we made it through it together as a family at BRDHS. On behalf of this year's graduating class, I want to give thanks to the individuals who helped us get us to where we are today. Thank you to the parents who woke us up before school, helped us with homework at the dinner table, and supported us endlessly throughout the years. Thank you to the amazing and caring staff at BRDHS who have taught us valuable lessons inside and outside of the classroom and guided us along the path to success. Our parents and teachers alike have aided us in our development from our teen years into adulthood, and we are thankful beyond words for all they have done for us. Thank you for helping to prepare us for our future endeavors, regardless of what they may be. So, fellow seniors, be proud of what you have done and how far we have come. Late nights filled with studying and completing assignments, lunch hours and afternoons dedicated to teams and clubs, and after school hangouts at Tim Hortons or Edna's. All these little things and more to earn our diplomas. We did it, and we will continue to do great things as we enter life after high school. Congratulations to us, the class of 2020. I hope you have a wonderful evening and enjoy the rest of the ceremony. Thank you. Thank you, Haley. The Ontario Secondary School Diploma is awarded to students who have successfully completed at least 30 credits at the secondary level, have successfully completed the Ontario Literacy Test, and completed a minimum of 40 hours of community involvement. Due to provincial scheduling, our virtual commencement exercises are actually occurring before the submission of all final marks. Due to this timeline, some award presentations will not be possible this evening. Students will be notified personally to receive an award for each academic subject. In addition, the Governor General's Award will not be presented this evening, though we would like to explain its significance. The Governor General's Academic Medal is a very prestigious award. In 1873, the Earl of Dufferin, who served as Governor General, created a medal to recognize scholastic achievements. The Governor General's Bronze Academic Medal is awarded to the secondary school student who graduates with the highest standing in his or her own institution. The information for this prestigious award will be calculated next week and the recipient will be notified and presented with the medal and certificate. Students who have focused on specific areas during their high school studies may receive a certificate this evening in art, French, business or technology. Students who have completed the Ministry of Education mandated course requirements, which include one third of courses in French immersion, will receive their French immersion designation this evening. The Specialist High Skills major program involves specialized training in any of the following areas at Bell River District High School. Business, Environment, Information and Communication Technology, Arts and Culture, Manufacturing, Transportation and Health and Wellness. Students who have completed the necessary requirements will receive their diploma with the SHSM Red Seal. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bell River District High School graduating class of 2020. Tamri Alford. Tamri is an Arts and Culture Specialist High Skills major graduate. Tamri will be continuing her apprenticeship as a general machinist at AV Gage and Fixture. During her time at BRDHS, Tamri is most proud of discovering her future career through her OYAP experience. Her favorite high school memory is the art trip to Ottawa and Montreal. Congratulations, Tamri. Kyle Allaire Tasker. Kyle will be entering the world of work in the tool and die industry. Kyle says he is most proud of completing high school. One of Kyle's favorite memories is being at school with his friends. Congratulations, Kyle. Keegan Alonzo. We wish Keegan the very best in all of his future endeavors and best wishes for his music career. 
Congratulations, Keegan. Ciara Ambers. Ciara will be attending Centennial College in Toronto this fall in the pre-health program. She hopes one day to work in the medical field in nursing. Congratulations, Ciara. Alex Anastasakos. Following graduation, Alex will be returning to Belver District High School before pursuing a degree at university. During his time at BRDHS, Alex is most proud of scoring a goal during Noble Boys Hockey at OFSA and the press that followed their win. Thinking back at his time at BRDHS, Alex will remember both trips the Hockey Boys took to OFSA most of all. Congratulations, Alex. Ryan Anderson. Ryan receives his technology certificate this evening. Ryan is a Manufacturing Technology Specialist High Skills Major graduate. Ryan is also an Ontario Youth Apprenticeship graduate in Precision Metal Cutting. He will continue his apprenticeship as a general machinist. Congratulations, Ryan. Ezekiel Armstrong. Ezekiel will be pursuing a Business Administration degree at the University of Windsor this fall. During his time at Bellover High, Ezekiel is most proud of his academic achievements in his classes. His favorite high school memory is our annual Mettler Cup Dodgeball Tournament. Congratulations, Ezekiel. Jake Arsenault. Jake will be attending the University of Windsor in the Bachelor of Science degree program this fall. Congratulations, Jake. Jake Atkinson. Jake receives his technology certificate this evening. Jake is a Manufacturing Technology Specialist High Skills major graduate. Jake is also an Ontario Youth Apprenticeship graduate in Precision Metal Cutting. He will continue his apprenticeship as a general machinist. Jake has been awarded a $100 Bell River Public School Parent Council Award. Congratulations, Jake. Arian Owasti. Arian is a Business Specialist High Skills major graduate. Arian will attend the University of Windsor this fall to pursue a degree in Business Administration. Congratulations, Arian. Nathan Bain. Nathan will attend St. Clair College this fall in the Advertising and Marketing Diploma Program. Nathan has been awarded a $1,500 entrance scholarship. Nathan has earned his Specialist High Skills Major Diploma in Business. His favorite high school memory is semi-formal and a special day in Mr. Beckett's class. Nathan is most proud of earning his high school diploma with good grades and getting accepted into college. Congratulations, Nathan. Evan Barrett. Evan will attend St. Clair College this fall in the Electrical Techniques program. He is pursuing a career as an electrician. Evan has earned his Specialist High Skills Major Diploma in Transportation Technology. Congratulations, Evan. Logan Belanger. Logan will continue his secondary studies at Belver District High School in September. Congratulations, Logan. Abe Berg. Abe receives his art certificate this evening. Abe plans to enter the world of work following graduation and has plans to one day become a teacher. Abe is most proud of all the friendships he's made at Belver District High School. He will always think fondly on discussing the secrets of the universe with his physics teacher, Mr. Kaslick. Congratulations, Abe. Spencer Berg. Spencer is a business specialist high skills major graduate. Spencer receives his business certificate this evening as well. Spencer plans to continue his education in the field of business studies. Congratulations, Spencer. Hunter Buescher. Hunter receives his art certificate. Hunter will be entering the world of work following graduation. During his time at high school, Hunter is most proud of the marks he earned in his math classes. Hunter's favorite high school memory is on his first day of grade 12 when he realized he'd made it this far and that he was on the threshold of the rest of his life. Congratulations, Hunter. Cameron Black. Cameron will return to Belver District High School to continue his studies and then will attend St. Clair College in the Electrical Techniques program. Cameron is a Business Specialist High Skills major graduate. Cameron's favorite high school memory are the business SHSM field trips that he attended. One of Cameron's proudest moments from high school is being successful in his classes. Congratulations, Cameron. Hunter Bloomfield. Hunter will return to Belver District High School in September to pursue his studies. Hunter is a Transportation Technology Specialist High Skills Major graduate. Congratulations, Hunter. Sophia Borelli. Sophia receives her Technology Certificate this evening. 
Sophia will attend St. Clair College to pursue studies in electrical techniques. During her time at BRDHS, Sophia is most proud of discovering her passion for skilled trades and deciding on her career path. She is proud of being a woman in the skilled trade industry. Sophia is certain that her fondest memory will be of graduation. This evening, Sophia has been awarded a $500 Bell River District High School Parent Council Award. Congratulations, Sophia. Benjamin Bowler. Ben has completed the Ministry of Education's requirements and is receiving his French Immersion designation this evening. Ben will be pursuing a diploma at St. Clair College in the Architecture Technology Program this fall. Ben's favorite high school memory is of our annual Mettler Cup tournament. Ben will remember how proud he was to read about his academic achievements in our community newspaper. Congratulations, Ben. Eric Brannigan. Eric will be attending St. Clair College this fall. He will be studying in the Border Security Program. Eric's best BRDHS memories are of phys ed classes, and he's most proud of being part of Noble Hockey. Congratulations, Eric. Peyton Brower. Peyton is an Arts and Culture Specialist High Skills Major graduate. She will attend St. Clair College in September in the Hairstyling Diploma Program. Peyton receives her Technology Certificate this evening as well. During her time at BRDHS, Peyton says she's most proud of her growth in the artistic work she produced thanks to her arts courses and her hard work. Her favorite high school memory? Photography class with Mrs. Papik. Peyton has been awarded a $300 Royal Canadian Legion Award. Congratulations, Peyton. Kelly Brown. Kelly will pursue a degree in biomedical sciences at the University of Windsor this September. When thinking back to BRDHS, Kelly will always remember the grade 9 geography field trip with Mr. Pula and her friends. Kelly has been awarded a $500 Belver District High School Parent Council Award this evening. Congratulations, Kelly. Christina Camilleri. Christina is an Arts and Culture Specialist High Skills major graduate. Christina will also be receiving her art certificate this evening. Congratulations, Christina. Savannah Campbell. Savannah has completed the Ministry of Education's requirements and is receiving her French Immersion designation this evening. Savannah will be attending the University of Windsor in the Honors Business Administration Program. Savannah has been awarded a Renewable Dean's Entrance Scholarship valued at up to $10,000. Savannah is most proud of the marks she earned in high school. Her favorite memories are of spirit events and the pink days she participated in in her junior years. Savannah has been awarded a $500 Bell River District High School Parent Council Award. Congratulations, Savannah. Jacob Cardicia, we wish you well in your future endeavors. Congratulations, Jacob. Connor Carr. Connor is an Environmental Studies Specialist High Skills Major graduate. Connor will be attending St. Clair College in the Electromechanical Engineering Program. Connor's favorite high school memory is hanging out with his friends during lunch. Congratulations, Connor. Kaylee Carr. Kaylee will be attending the University of Windsor to pursue a degree in business. Kaylee has been awarded a $1,000 entrance scholarship as well as the Eleanor Catherine Wallace Memorial Entrance Scholarship in the amount of $5,000. During her time at BRDHS, Kaylee is most proud of her acceptance into her chosen university program. Her favorite high school memory is the geography field trip. Kaylee has been awarded a $200 National Bank bursary this evening. Congratulations, Kaylee. Jonah Sertosi. Jonah will be attending St. Clair College this fall in the Sports and Recreation Management Program. He will also be part of the varsity volleyball team. Jonah was awarded an athletic scholarship of $2,500 per year. Jonah's favorite memory is of beating Sports Nemesis Assumption to advance to the second round of WEXA playoffs this year. Congratulations, Jonah. Ian Chapsky. Ian receives his technology certificate this evening. Ian is a manufacturing technology specialist high skills major graduate. Ian is also an Ontario Youth Apprenticeship graduate in precision metal cutting. Ian will continue his apprenticeship as a general machinist and pursue a career in the skilled trades. Congratulations, Ian. Ireland Charte. Ireland receives her art certificate this evening. She is an Arts and Culture Specialist High Skills Major graduate. Ireland plans to attend the Windsor Beauty School in the Medical Esthetician Program. Her favorite high school memory is Matler Cup. 
Congratulations, Ireland. Jarrett Chauvin. We wish you well in your future endeavors. Congratulations, Jarrett. Kevin Chen. Kevin will be attending the University of Windsor to pursue a degree in electrical engineering. Kevin's favorite high school memory is being part of the noble tradition, Mettler Cup Dodgeball. Congratulations, Kevin. Natalia Chen. Natalia will attend the University of Waterloo this fall to pursue a degree in honors mathematics. Natalia was awarded the President's Scholarship valued at $2,000. Natalia is truly proud of the mark she's earned in her calculus course. When thinking back to her time at Belver District High School, Natalia will never forget participating in the Science Olympiad competition. Congratulations, Natalia. McKenna Chauvin. We wish you much success in your future endeavors. Congratulations, McKenna. Jillian Christie. Jillian has completed the Ministry of Education's requirements and is receiving her French Immersion designation this evening. Jillian receives her Arts Certificate this evening as well. She is looking forward to attending the University of Windsor in the Developmental Psychology and Criminology degree program. Jillian has been awarded a $1,000 entrance scholarship. She is most proud of her work in her photography class while at Belver District High School, and her favorite memory is the art trip to Ottawa and Montreal. Jillian has been awarded a $300 Royal Canadian Legion Award this evening. Congratulations, Jillian. Colin Costi. Colin will be attending St. Clair College in the Electrical Techniques program. Colin's favorite memory of high school is lunchtime with his friends. Colin says he's most proud of how much his marks have improved from grade 9 to grade 12. Congratulations, Colin. Connor Crampsey. Connor is a business specialist high skills major graduate. Connor is receiving his business certificate this evening as well. He is planning to return to Belver District High School this fall before pursuing his post-secondary education. Connor's favorite BRDHS memory is of the annual Mettler Cup Dodgeball Tournament. Congratulations, Connor. Ryan Curtis. Ryan receives his art certificate this evening. Congratulations, Ryan. Ethan Day. We wish you well in your future endeavors. Congratulations, Ethan. Gabriel DeSimon. Gabriel will be attending St. Clair College in the Chemical Laboratory Technology Program this fall. Gabriel has been awarded a $300 Royal Canadian Legion Award this evening. Congratulations, Gabriel. Jonathan DeSimon. Jonathan is a business specialist high skills major graduate. Jonathan will be studying mobile application development at St. Clair College this fall. Jonathan has been awarded a $300 Belver District High School Staff Bursary Award. Congratulations, Jonathan. Kara Dursley. Kara will attend St. Clair College in the Business Administration and Marketing Program in September. Kara receives her art certificate this evening. She has been awarded a $200 Home Hardware Award. Congratulations, Kara. Connor Dembinski. Connor will attend the University of Windsor. He will pursue a degree in general science. While at BRDHS, Connor is most proud of being part of Noble Hockey and wearing his Noble jersey with pride at OFSA for three years in a row. His favorite memory from high school is winning OFSA hockey in Fort Francis when he was in grade nine. Congratulations, Connor. Aiden Denduven. Aiden has completed the Ministry of Education's requirements and is receiving his French Immersion designation this evening. Aiden will attend the University of Guelph this fall in the Biological Sciences program. Aiden has been awarded a $1,000 RIGES scholarship. Aiden is most proud of being part of Nobles Volleyball and making the playoffs. His favorite high school memory is the French trip to Quebec. Aiden has been awarded a $500 Bell River District High School Parent Council Award. Congratulations, Aiden. Ashlyn Dewar. Ashlyn is a health and wellness specialist high skills major graduate. In September, Ashlyn will be a Brock Badger at the University of Brock. She will be pursuing a degree in medical sciences. During her time at Belver District High School, Ashlyn is proud of being part of school activities and being part of Noble Athletics. Her fondest high school memories are of her time in the Hockey Canada Skills Academy class while in grade nine. Congratulations, Ashlyn. Mason Diesberg Lalonde. Mason receives his technology certificate this evening. He is a specialist high skills major graduate. Mason is also an Ontario Youth Apprenticeship graduate in precision metal cutting. He will continue his apprenticeship as a general machinist at Circle 5. 
When asked, Mason stated that he is most proud of being part of the OYAP program. His favorite BRDHS memories are of Mettler Cup. Congratulations, Mason. Talia El Halabi. Talia is awarded her art certificate this evening. Talia will be pursuing a Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree at the University of Windsor this fall. Talia has been awarded a $500 Bell River District High School Parent Council Award this evening. Congratulations, Talia. Aiden Elwood. Aiden will continue his studies at Bell River District High School this September. His favorite high school memory is winning the annual BRDHS Halloween Costume Contest while he was in grade 12. Congratulations, Aiden. Michael Emery. Michael has completed the Ministry of Education's requirements and is receiving his French Immersion designation this evening. Michael is being awarded an art certificate this evening as well. He will attend the University of Windsor in September to pursue a degree in Mechanical Engineering. Michael has been awarded the Henry Ford Healthcare Scholarship. He has also been awarded an Entrance Scholarship. During his time at BRDHS, Michael is most proud of making friendships that will last a lifetime. His favorite high school memories include arts night, musical performances, and having lunch with his friends. Michael has been awarded a $500 Bell River District High School Parent Council Award. Congratulations, Michael. Derek Fallon. Derek Fallon is an arts and culture specialist high skills major graduate. Derek will be continuing his studies at Bell River District High School this September. Congratulations, Derek. Faith Faubert. Faith will attend Bell River District High School this fall to continue her studies. Congratulations, Faith. Antonio Ferrara. Antonio is a specialist high skills major business graduate. He receives his art certificate this evening as well. Antonio will be attending the University of Windsor this September. He will be pursuing a degree in the Concurrent Communications Media and Film program. Antonio has been awarded a Renewable Dean's Entrance Scholarship of $1,250 per term, as well as an SHSM Scholarship of $500. Antonio has also been awarded a $1,500 Charter High Scholarship. While at BRDHS, Antonio is most proud of being the one and only Smash Brothers Tournament Champion. Antonio has been awarded a $300 BRDHS Alumni Award this evening. Congratulations, Antonio. Emily Field. Emily will be attending Oakland College in the U.S. this fall. She will be studying in the Medical Radiology Technician Program. Emily has been awarded a softball scholarship. Her favorite high school memory is being a leader for the grade 9 day activities. Emily is most proud of being a Swasa athlete for two different noble sports. Congratulations, Emily. Clea Frenette. Clea receives her art certificate this evening. Following graduation, Clea will attend the University of Windsor in the Social Work Degree Program. She has been awarded the Renewable Dean's Entrance Scholarship of $1,250 per term. Clea's favorite high school memories are of the English trip to Stratford, watching Mettler Cup, and Grade 9 Day. When asked, Clea stated that she is most proud of doing well academically while enjoying her friendships and making lasting memories. Clea has been awarded a $500 Bell River District High School Parent Council Award. Congratulations, Clea. Andrew Kanye. Andrew will attend Bell River District High School this September to continue his studies. Andrew's favorite high school memories are of the people he's met and the friends he's made. Congratulations, Andrew. Colton Kanye. Colton will attend St. Clair College in the Power Engineering Technology Program. During his time at BRDHS, Colton is most proud of being on honor roll every year. His favorite memory is certainly going to be of this graduation. Colton has been awarded a scholarship which is very special to our Bell River District High School family. Kendall Hebert was a former student of Bell River District High School whose life was cut short. Her family honors her with an annual award. This evening, Colton is being awarded a $4,000 Kendall Hebert Memorial Award. Congratulations, Colton. Grace Gagne. Grace will be attending the University of Windsor in September, where she will be pursuing a degree in mechanical engineering. Grace has been awarded the Renewable Dean's Entrance Scholarship of $1,250 per term, up to $10,000. Grace receives her art certificate this evening. Her favorite BRDHS memory is the art trip to Ottawa and to Montreal. During her time at BRDHS, 
Grace is extremely proud of being selected the winner in the Greater Essex County District School Board Pluralist Contest three times. Her work is published in three editions of The Pluralist. We are honored to be presenting the Lori Walker Memorial Bursary for the first time this evening. Lori Walker graduated from Belver District High School in 1986. She studied engineering at the University of Windsor and worked as an engineer for both Ford and General Motors. She died suddenly on June 17, 2019 at 51 years old. This bursary was created by her friends and family in her honor. Lori was a lifelong advocate of women in the sciences, so it is fitting that this bursary is awarded to a female student at Balver District High School who plans to pursue engineering or science as their post-secondary pathway. Congratulations, Grace. Sydney Gale. Sydney is a specialist high skills major environmental graduate. Sydney will attend the University of Windsor to pursue a concurrent education degree program. Sydney's fondest memories of high school are the amazing trip she took with her environmental SHSM. Congratulations, Sydney. Jamie Garrett. Jamie will attend St. Clair College in the Pre-Health Sciences program this fall. Jamie is most proud of reinstating the Noble Dance Team. Heading the dance team with its various events is Jamie's favorite memory of Belver District High School. Congratulations, Jamie. Joshua Gibbs. Josh will be attending St. Clair College in September. He is enrolled in the Protection, Security, and Investigation Diploma Program. During his time at BRDHS, Josh is most proud of playing for the Noble Boys hockey team. Josh's favorite school memories are of going to OFSA for hockey. Congratulations, Josh. Madison Gilbert. Madison receives her art certificate this evening. She is a specialist high skills major graduate in arts and culture. Madison is very proud of achieving honor roll status and of all the artwork that she created over the years at BRDHS. Her favorite memories are of all her friends and her art trip to Montreal. Congratulations, Madison. Sarah May Gertson. Sarah May is an environmental specialist high skills major graduate. She will be taking a gap year to explore options and pursue adventures. During her time at BRDHS, Sarah May is most proud of going to OFSA for a very snowy cross-country competition. Sarah May's favorite memories from high school are of Mr. Pula's camping trips. She has been awarded a $300 Bell River District High School Staff Bursary Award this evening. Congratulations, Sarah May. Anna Maria Gramostanu. Anna Maria is a health and wealth specialist high skills major graduate. Anna will pursue a Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree at the University of Windsor this fall. Anna has stated that she's most proud of being on principal's list throughout her four years of high school. As for her favorite memory, it was Mr. Earle's explanation about Where's Waldo to an exchange student in chemistry class one day. Anna has been awarded the Robert Little and Deborah Dean Little Scholarship. She has also been awarded the Renewable Dean's Entrance Scholarship at the University. Congratulations, Anna. Mia Green. Mia will attend the University of Windsor this fall. She will pursue an Honors Bachelor of Science in Physics Cooperative Education degree. Mia receives her core French certificate this evening. Mia has been awarded the Renewable President's Entrance Scholarship of up to $16,000. During her time at BRDHS, Mia is most proud of being recognized on the Principal's List of Distinction for all four years. Mia's favorite BRDHS memory is participating in Science Olympiad. Mia has been awarded a $500 Lakeshore Discovery Parent Council Award. Mia has also been awarded a $100 Baker Tilly Award. Congratulations, Mia. Jordan Hamlin. Jordan is a health and wellness specialist high skills major graduate. Jordan will be a Lancer at the University of Windsor this September, pursuing a degree in human kinetics. Jordan is most proud of her acceptance to her university program of choice. Her favorite high school memory is the 2019 prom. Jordan has been awarded a $300 Belver District High School Alumni Award. Congratulations, Jordan. Keegan Hennessy. Keegan receives his technical certificate this evening. He is also a specialist high skills major graduate in manufacturing. Keegan is an Ontario Youth Apprenticeship graduate in precision metal cutting. He will pursue a career in the skilled trades as a general machinist. Congratulations, Keegan. Joel Hers. Joel is awarded a technical certificate this evening. Joel is also an environmental specialist high skills major graduate. 
In the fall, Joel will continue his studies at Belver District High School. During his time at BRDHS, Joel is most proud of taking part in a co-op at Lakefront Marine, where he learned and developed many new skills. Joel's experience at co-op helped his career choice. As for Joel's favorite memory, putting small engines back together and taking apart a scrap van in Mr. Tivierge's auto class. Congratulations, Joel. Luke Hill. Luke will be attending St. Clair College in September in the Protection, Security, and Investigation program. Luke's favorite high school memory is playing soccer for the Noble team. Luke has been awarded a $500 Joe St. Louis Memorial Award, which is attributed to future firefighters, emergency responders. Congratulations, Luke. Ethan Hooker. Ethan has completed the Ministry of Education's requirements and is receiving his French Immersion designation this evening. Ethan will be attending St. Clair College in the fall. Congratulations, Ethan. Christina Hoster. Christina is an Arts and Culture Specialist High Skills Major graduate. She is receiving her art certificate this evening as well. Christina is heading to Sudbury to attend Cambria College this fall. She will be studying in the animation program. During her time at BRDHS, Christina is proud of her arts experiences and improving her artistic skills. Her favorite high school memory is meeting all of her friends. Christina has been awarded a $500 G&L Stevenson Transportation Achievement Scholarship. Congratulations, Christina. Eric Hung. Eric is heading to the University of Toronto this fall to pursue a degree in mathematics and physics. Eric's favorite high school memory is the Socratic seminar in which he participated. Congratulations, Eric. Simone Iaquinta. Simone will be attending St. Clair College in the Community Integration Cooperative Education Program this fall. Simone is most proud of how good he is now at reading. When asked, Simone said that his favorite BRDHS memory is participating in the field trip to Point Peely with Mr. Pula. Simone has been awarded a very special recognition award from the Council of Exceptional Children. Simone has also been awarded a $150 Jordan Barrett Memorial Bursary Award. This award is in honor of Jordan Barrett, who was a student in the STEPS program. Jordan will always be remembered for his kind heart, gentle soul, and beautiful smile. The Jordan Barrett Memorial Bursary is given to deserving students who have made exemplary contributions toward inclusivity and acceptance of peers of all abilities. Congratulations, Simone. Tyler Ilyevsky. Tyler receives his technical certificate this evening. He will attend St. Clair College in the fall in the Electromechanical Engineering Diploma Program. Congratulations, Tyler. Logan Isaacs. Logan is a health and wellness specialist high skills major graduate. He will be attending BRDHS this fall to continue his studies. During his time at Belver High School, Logan is most proud of graduating. Logan's favorite high school memory is winning Mettler Cup in his grade 12 year. Congratulations, Logan. Michaela Jacques, we wish you the very best in your future endeavors. Congratulations, Michaela. Jack Janice. Jack has completed the Ministry of Education's requirements and is receiving his French Immersion designation this evening. Jack will attend Belver District High School this fall to continue his studies and then will attend the University of Windsor. Jack was awarded the $1,500 Odette Young Leaders Scholarship. Jack is most proud of achieving honor roll status for three of his four years at BRDHS. Jack's favorite memory from high school is of the French trip to Quebec. Congratulations, Jack. Alex Jewell. We wish you well in your future endeavors. Congratulations, Alex. Megan Cavanaugh. Megan has completed the Ministry of Education's requirements and is receiving her French Immersion designation this evening. She is a Health and Wellness Specialist High Skills major graduate. Megan will be attending the University of Windsor this fall in the Visual Arts Built Environment degree program, which is an architecture program. During her time as a noble, Megan is most proud of being on honor roll. Her favorite high school memory is helping to run grade nine day with her leadership class. Congratulations, Megan. Lucas Kerber. Lucas is a business specialist high skills major graduate. He will attend St. Clair College in the Computer Systems Networking Diploma Program this fall. Lucas's favorite BRDHS memory is his co-op experience. Congratulations, Lucas. Deacon Clausen. Deacon will be attending St. Clair College in the Biomedical Engineering Program. Deacon is most proud of being on honor roll. His favorite BRDHS memory is Mettler Cup Dodgeball. Congratulations, Deacon. Lucas Clausen. Lucas is a business specialist high skills major graduate. 
Following graduation, Lucas will be entering the workforce. He will be working at Sowensburg Fabrication Incorporated in the machining industry. Lucas's favorite high school memory is winning the school costume contest with Aidan Elwood. During his time at BRDHS, Lucas is most proud of being on honor roll for all four years. Lucas has been awarded a $500 Beaver Foods Academic Award this evening. Congratulations, Lucas. Darcy Klimsick. Darcy is an Arts and Culture Specialist High Skills Major graduate. She receives her art certificate this evening as well. Darcy will be attending the University of Guelph in the Honors Applied Arts and Media Studies and Diploma in Media Communications program. Darcy has been awarded a $500 Bell River Lions Club Merit Award. Congratulations, Darcy. Sierra Kautiak. Sierra is a Health and Wellness Specialist High Skills Major graduate. She will pursue a Biological Sciences degree at the University of Windsor this fall. Sierra is most proud of attaining Principal's List status while in Grade 11. Sierra's favorite memory is of getting hit in the face during Mettler Cup in Grade 9, but persevering in the tournament. Sierra has been awarded a $500 Belver District High School Parent Council Award. Congratulations, Sierra. Riley Kreitzer. Following graduation, Riley will be entering the workforce. Riley receives his art certificate this evening. He has been awarded a $300 Floor Coverings International Award. Congratulations, Riley. Kayla Koharski Baker. Kayla is an Environmental Specialist High Skills Major graduate. She will be entering the world of work following graduation. Kayla hopes to continue her post secondary education next year. Kayla has been awarded a $500 Bellevue District High School Parent Council Award. Congratulations, Kayla. Savona Laudiser. Savona is an Environmental Specialist High Skills Major graduate. She will also receive her art certificate this evening. Savona will attend St. Clair College this fall in the Early Childhood Education Program. Planting trees for the Environmental SHSM is Savona's favorite high school memory. Savona says she's most proud of being part of drama while at BRDHS. She has been awarded a $500 GNL Stevenson Transportation Achievement Scholarship. Congratulations, Savona. Olivia Lafontaine. Olivia is a specialist high skills major graduate in manufacturing. She is receiving her technical certificate this evening as well. Olivia is also an Ontario Youth Apprenticeship graduate in precision metal cutting. Olivia will continue her apprenticeship as a general machinist and will attend St. Clair College in the Machining Trades program. During her time at BRDHS, Olivia is most proud of being on honor roll for three years. Her favorite high school memory is Grade 9 Day. Olivia has been awarded a $600 AV Gauge and Fixture Award this evening. Congratulations, Olivia. Brayden Lanou. Brayden is a Specialist High Skills Major Manufacturing graduate. He receives his technical certificate this evening as well. Brayden is also an Ontario Youth Apprenticeship graduate in Precision Metal Cutting. Brayden will attend St. Clair College in the Powerline Technician Program this fall. He has been awarded a $500 Belver District High School Parent Council Award. Congratulations, Brayden. Joel Lebrun. Joel will continue his studies at Belver District High School this fall. During his time at BRDHS, Joel is most proud of playing for the Nobles hockey team. Joel's favorite high school memory is winning Mettler Cup. Congratulations, Joel. Caius Lelacher. Caius will be heading to London this fall to attend Fanshawe College in the Business Cooperative Education Diploma Program. Caius is most proud of graduating. During his time at BRDHS, Caius will remember fondly his personal fitness class. Caius has been awarded a $250 Milady Funeral Home Bursary this evening. Congratulations, Caius. Courtney Lewis. Courtney will be attending the University of Windsor in September. She will be pursuing an Honors Bachelor of Mathematics degree. Courtney was awarded the $600 Hocktoberfest Legacy Scholarship. During her time at BRDHS, Courtney is most proud of wearing an A on her Noble Hockey jersey as a goalie. Courtney's favorite high school memories are of zip lining field trips with Mr. Pula while in grade 9. Courtney was awarded a $500 Belver District High School Parent Council Award. Courtney was also awarded a $50 Noble Girls Phys Ed Award. Congratulations, Courtney. Brendan LaDuca. Brendan has completed the Ministry of Education's requirements and is receiving his French Immersion designation this evening. Brendan will attend the University of Windsor in the Computer Science Degree Program. Brendan is most proud of his marks in Grade 9 and 10. 
His favorite high school memory is meeting his friends. Brendan was awarded a $300 Belver District High School Staff Bursary Award. Congratulations, Brendan. Gorky Rat Loti. Gorky Rat is a business specialist high skills major graduate. She will be heading to Brock University where she will be pursuing a criminology degree. Congratulations, Gorky Rat. Liam Lovett. Liam receives his business certificate this evening. In the fall, Liam will attend the University of Windsor to pursue a criminology degree. Congratulations, Liam. Ethan McNeely. Ethan is a health and wellness specialist high skills major graduate. Ethan will attend the University of Guelph this fall. He will pursue a degree in physics. Ethan was awarded an entrance scholarship. Ethan's favorite memory is the SHSM field trip to the Little Caesars Arena and the visit to Tiger Stadium for a tour and a game. Ethan was awarded a $300 Bellarue District High School Staff Bursary Award. Congratulations, Ethan. Cody Malone. Cody is an Ontario Youth Apprenticeship graduate in precision metal cutting. Following graduation, Cody will continue his apprenticeship in the skilled trades. Cody is a Transportation Technology SHSM graduate, and he receives his technical certificate this evening as well. Cody was awarded a $500 RICO International Group Award. Congratulations, Cody. Amarup Manj. We wish you very well in your future endeavors. Congratulations, Amarup. Riley Marshan. Riley receives her art certificate this evening. Riley will be attending St. Clair College this fall in the Esthetician Diploma Program. During her time at BRDHS, Riley is most proud of the friendships she has made. She will always remember her art class with her friend Belle. Congratulations, Riley. Ethan Marentet. Ethan is an Arts and Culture Specialist High Skills major graduate. Ethan receives his art certificate this evening as well. In the fall, Ethan will be attending the University of Windsor in the Communication, Media, and Film Studies degree program. During his time at BRDHS, Ethan is most proud of passing his functions class. His favorite high school memory is the grade 9 trip to Chicago. Congratulations, Ethan. Alyssa Marion. Alyssa is an Arts and Culture Specialist High Skills major graduate. Alyssa receives her art certificate this evening as well. Alyssa will pursue a diploma in Advertising and Marketing Communications Management at St. Clair College this September. Congratulations, Alyssa. Jacob Marshall. Jacob has completed the Ministry of Education's requirements and is receiving his French Immersion designation this evening. Jacob will attend St. Clair College in the Heating and Cooling Program this fall. He is most proud of winning Swasa, and Jacob's favorite high school memory is the French trip to Quebec. Jacob was awarded a $300 Bellevue District High School Staff Bursary Award. Congratulations, Jacob. Tristan Martin. Tristan is an Environmental Specialist High Skills major graduate. Tristan will attend the University of Windsor in the Law and Political Science degree program. During her time at BRDHS, Tristan is quite pleased that she never once accidentally fell in the stairwells. Tristan's favorite high school memories are of Mr. Pula's environmental SHSM camping field trips. Tristan was awarded a $500 Bellevue District High School Parent Council Award. Congratulations, Tristan. McKenna MacArthur. McKenna is a health and wellness specialist high skills major graduate. McKenna will attend St. Clair College this fall in the Esthetician Diploma Program. McKenna is most proud of being part of various noble sports teams, including volleyball, soccer, basketball, track, and cross country. McKenna's favorite memory is the Senior Girls Basketball Tournament in Niagara Falls. McKenna was awarded a $120 Power Pit Gym Bursary Award. Congratulations, McKenna. Cody McDonough. Cody is a Manufacturing Technology Specialist High Skills Major graduate. Cody also receives his Technology Certificate this evening. In the fall, Cody will be attending St. Clair College in the Electrical Program. During his time at BRDHS, Cody is most proud of being Captain of the Noble Boys Hockey Team. His favorite memory is going to OFSA for hockey. This evening, Cody was awarded a $200 Nobles Hockey Award. Congratulations, Cody. Julian Medirata. Julian has completed the Ministry of Education's requirements and is receiving his French Immersion designation this evening. Julian is heading to Oshawa to attend the University of Ontario Institute of Technology, also known as Ontario Tech University. Julian will be pursuing a computer science degree. His favorite high school memory is the French trip to Quebec with Madame McAuliffe and Madame Oiseau. Congratulations, Julian.
Nathan Minear. Nathan is a business specialist high skills major graduate. Nathan also receives his technology certificate this evening. Congratulations, Nathan. Bree Misho. Bree is an arts and culture specialist high skills major graduate. Bree is receiving her arts certificate this evening as well. She will be heading to London to attend Fanshawe College this fall in the 2D, 3D animation program. Bree's favorite memory of BRDHS is meeting her friends. Congratulations, Bree. Chase Millen. Chase is a Transportation Technology Specialist High Skills Major graduate. Chase also receives his Technology Certificate this evening. Congratulations, Chase. Sarah Mills. Sarah is an Arts and Culture Specialist High Skills Major graduate. She also receives her Art Certificate this evening. Sarah will be attending St. Clair College in the Graphic Design program this fall. During her time in high school, Sarah is most proud of her personal growth. Her favorite memory is of being a helper for the Mettler Cup. Sarah is awarded a $300 Bellover District High School Alumni Award this evening. Congratulations, Sarah. Riley Moore Teven. Riley is a business specialist high skills major graduate. Following graduation, Riley is venturing into the world of work. He will be employed at Dockendor. Riley is most proud of his math marks in both grade 11 and 12. His favorite high school memories are of the Stratford field trips in grade 10 and Ms. Nefyadov's class in grade 11. Congratulations, Riley. Peyton Moran. Peyton is a health and wellness specialist high skills major graduate. Peyton will be heading both to St. Clair College and the University of Windsor in the Collaborative Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree program. Peyton is very proud of maintaining her high academic standing while fostering her friendships. Her favorite memory from BRDHS is the field trip to participate in the ropes course for our SHSM. Peyton was awarded a $500 Bell River District High School Parent Council Award. Congratulations, Peyton. Sarah Moss. Sarah receives her art certificate this evening. She will be entering the University of Windsor this fall, where she is enrolled in the Bachelor of Science in Nursing program. Throughout high school, Sarah is very proud of her excellent attendance. She will look back at her time in high school fondly, and in particular, the art trip to Montreal. Congratulations, Sarah. Holly Mosco. Holly is an environmental specialist high skills major graduate. Holly will be attending the University of Windsor to pursue a degree in biological sciences. During her time at BRDHS, Holly is most proud of being senior female athlete of the year and the most valuable player for the Noble Curling team. Her favorite high school memory is of the Turkey Point field trip with Mr. Pula. Holly was awarded the Build a Dream Bursary as well as the SHSM Bursary. She is also being awarded a $500 GNL Stevenson Transportation Achievement Scholarship this evening. Congratulations, Holly. Julian Mouad. Julian plans to return to Belver District High School to continue his studies in the fall. We wish you well in your future endeavors. Congratulations, Julian. Isher Mundi. Isher has completed the Ministry of Education's requirements and is receiving her French Immersion designation this evening. Isher also receives her French certificate. Isher is heading to Kingston to attend Queen's University. She will pursue a concurrent education French program degree. Isher was awarded the $4,000 Principal's Entrance Scholarship. While at BRDHS, Isher is most proud of her eclectic collection of articles found in her locker and her favorite memories include math games during spare and pre-practice volleyball lunches. Isher is the recipient of the Louis Moison Award of Merit this evening valued at $500. This award is near and dear to my heart and is presented to a student who exemplifies my dad's characteristics of hard work and generosity of spirit. Congratulations Isher. Devin Munn. Devin will be attending St. Clair College in the fall. He will be studying the Electrical Techniques program. Congratulations, Devin. Jocelyn Noel. Jocelyn will be attending the University of Windsor this fall. She will pursue a degree in Business Administration. Congratulations, Jocelyn. Sydney Oliphant. Sydney receives her Art Certificate this evening. Sydney is heading to the University of Waterloo in the fall, where she will pursue a degree in Architectural Engineering. Sydney was awarded a Merit Scholarship and Outstanding Scholar. During her time at BRDHS, Sydney is most proud of her high academic achievement which enabled her to be accepted into the program of her choice. Sydney's favorite high school memory is Mr. Pula's camping trip to Turkey Point. 
Sydney is being awarded a $500 GNL Stevenson Transportation Achievement Award. Congratulations, Sydney. Abigail Olson. Abby will attend Belver District High School this fall to continue her studies. We wish you the best in your future endeavors. Congratulations, Abby. James Oros. James will attend St. Clair College in the fall. He will study in the Interior Design Program. James' favorite high school memories include his final Mettler Cup matches. James is most proud of the time he spent on the Bell River Robotics Team, the Bell River Automatons. James has been awarded a $500 Bell River District High School Parent Council Award. Congratulations, James. Sage Parent. Sage is a specialist high skills major graduate in manufacturing. Sage also receives his technology certificate this evening. He is an Ontario Youth Apprenticeship graduate in precision metal cutting. Sage will continue his apprenticeship as a general machinist. Sage is most proud of making honor roll while at BRDHS and his favorite high school memory is participating in the OYAP program. Congratulations, Sage. Belle Parsons. Belle receives her art certificate this evening. She will attend St. Clair College this fall in the Aesthetician program. Belle's favorite high school memory is art class with her friend Riley. Congratulations, Belle. Ethan Peltier. Ethan will return to Belver District High School in September to continue his studies. We wish you well in your future endeavors. Congratulations, Ethan. Madison Peltier. Madison receives her art certificate this evening. Maddie will attend Belver District High School this fall to continue her studies. While at BRDHS, Maddie is most proud of making the basketball team in grade 10, and her favorite high school memory is meeting all of her friends. Congratulations, Maddie. Olivia Penner. Olivia is a health and wellness specialist high skills major graduate. Olivia will return to BRDHS this fall to continue her studies. She would then like to pursue a career in the medical field. Congratulations, Olivia. Trevor Pike. Trevor plans to attend the University of Windsor to pursue a degree in business administration. Trevor receives his business certificate this evening. Congratulations, Trevor. Joseph Poisson. Joseph will return to Belver District High School this fall to continue his studies. We wish you well in your future endeavors, Joseph. Congratulations. Joshua Preston. Josh will attend St. Clair College in the Mechanical Technical Program. Best wishes, Josh, and congratulations. Mattia Quinlan. Mattia receives her art certificate this evening. Mattia is a specialist high skills major graduate in arts and culture. Mattia was awarded a $500 GNL Stevenson Transportation Achievement Scholarship. Congratulations, Mattia. Courtney Rabby. Courtney will be attending the University of Windsor this fall where she will pursue an environmental studies degree. During her time at BRDHS, Courtney is most proud of her marks and her involvement in the school play. Courtney's favorite high school memory is going for drives at lunch with her friends. Courtney is awarded a $225 Bellevance Nursery and Landscaping Limited Award. Congratulations, Courtney. Declan Rawlings. Declan is a Manufacturing Specialist High Skills Major graduate. Declan also receives his Technology Certificate this evening. During his time at Belver District High School, Declan is proud of his time and effort on the Nobles First Robotics Team. Declan's favorite school memory is Miss Nefudo's pep talks before their Mettler Cup matches. Congratulations, Declan. Ava Riom. Ava will be heading to the U.S. for her post-secondary studies. She will be attending the University of Texas of the Permian Basin in the Organismal Biology Program. Ava has been awarded the Presidential Scholarship for Academics. She is also awarded the Women's Swimming Athletic Scholarship. Ava is most proud of her high academic average as well as achieving principal's list status. Ava's favorite memory is the quality time she enjoyed with her friends. Ava was awarded a $500 Belver District High School Parent Council Award. Congratulations, Ava. Adam Redekop. Following graduation, Adam is entering the workforce at Salwinsburg Fabrication Incorporated in the machining industry. During his time at Belver District High School, Adam is most proud of making honor roll for all four years of high school. Adam's favorite high school memory is being part of the Noble football team and the experience of going to Peterborough to play a game. Adam was awarded a $100 Centennial Central Public School Award. Congratulations, Adam. Andrea Riva. Andrea is a health and wellness specialist high skills major graduate. 
Andrea receives her core French certificate this evening. Andrea will attend the University of Windsor this fall to pursue a Bachelor of Human Kinetics degree. Andrea is the recipient of a blue and gold soccer scholarship from the University of Windsor. She is most proud of being most valuable player and making the all-star teams. Andrea's favorite memory is Mr. Pula's eco-adventure field trip. Congratulations, Andrea. Devin Roback. Devin has completed the Ministry of Education's requirements and is receiving his French immersion designation this evening. Devin will return to Belver District High School this fall to continue his studies. Devin is most proud of getting involved in his school community as much as possible. And his favorite BRDHS memory is Mettler Cup 2020. Congratulations, Devin. Andrew Robertson. We wish you well in your future endeavors. Congratulations, Andrew. Dalton Rowland. We wish you well, Dalton, on all of your future endeavors. Congratulations, Dalton. Dale Sove. Dale will attend St. Clair College this fall in the Electrical Power Technician Program. During his time as a noble, Dale is most proud of making the boys' hockey team every year. Dale's favorite high school memory is going to OFSA and of the fun they had as a team at tournaments. Congratulations, Dale. Logan Sawyer. Best wishes on your future endeavors. Congratulations, Logan. Adam Scavarelli. Adam receives his technology certificate this evening. Adam will return to Belver District High School this fall to continue his studies. This evening, Adam is being awarded a $100 Belver on the Lake BIA award. Congratulations, Adam. Evan Schiller. Evan receives his technology certificate this evening. Evan will attend St. Clair College this fall in the Plumbing Techniques program. During his time at BRDHS, Evan is proud of the great staff and support that helped him to achieve all that he was able to achieve throughout his four years. Evan's favorite high school memory is his grade 9 auto class with Mr. Denoyer. Evan was awarded a $500 Belover District High School Parent Council Award. Congratulations, Evan. Evan Scott. Evan has completed the Ministry of Education's requirements and is receiving his French Immersion designation this evening. Evan will attend Conestoga College in Kitchener. He will be enrolled in the Computer Science Program. During his time at BRDHS, Evan is most proud of receiving honor roll in grade 11. Evan's favorite high school memory is the French trip to Quebec in 2019. Congratulations, Evan. Samantha Scott. Samantha will continue her studies at Belver District High School this fall. We wish you well in your future endeavors. Congratulations, Samantha. Callie Shang. Callie will be attending McMaster University in Hamilton this September. She will pursue a degree in social sciences. While at BRDHS, Callie is most proud of the average she earned in her courses. Her favorite memory of high school are the times she spent studying with her friends. Congratulations, Callie. Selwyn Shi. Selwyn will attend the University of Windsor in the Biochemistry degree program. During his time at BRDHS, Selwyn is most proud of the mark he earned in his grade 12 biology class. Selwyn's favorite memory is the Mettler Cup dodgeball tournament. Selwyn has been awarded a $250 Bell River Optometric Clinic Academic Award. Congratulations, Selwyn. Geetinder Sidhu. Geet will be attending the University of Guelph this September. She will pursue a degree in psychology and mathematical sciences. Geet was awarded a $3,500 entrance scholarship. During her time as a noble, Geet is most proud of her incredible Halloween costume, a lamp. Geet's favorite high school memories include the Dutch Blitz card games. Geet has been awarded a $500 Belver District High School Parent Council Award. Congratulations, Geet. Haley Schmelzer. Haley is an Arts and Culture Specialist High Skills major graduate. Haley also receives both her Arts Certificate as well as her Core French Certificate this evening. Haley will be attending the University of Windsor this fall. She will be pursuing a Bachelor of Visual Arts Concurrent Education degree. Haley was awarded the Renewable Dean's Entrance Scholarship of $1,250 per term for up to $10,000. She was awarded the Rotary Club of Windsor Volunteer Award and the University of Windsor Special Event Award of $1,000. During her time at BRDHS, Haley is most proud of her experiences with her SHSM as well as her active role in student council over the years. Haley's favorite high school memory is the 2019 arts trip to Ottawa and Montreal. This evening, Haley is being awarded the Sheila Kurtz Memorial Award. 
donated by Mr. Stephen Kurtz. Sheila Kurtz was the department head of art here at Belver District High School, and she was a wonderful lady. Congratulations, Haley. Jake Smeltzer. Jake receives his art certificate this evening. Jake will be attending St. Clair College in the Border Services program this fall. Jake's favorite memory of high school is the band field trip when they all played kazoos during the bus ride. Jake receives his core French certificate this evening. Jake has been awarded a $500 Belver District High School Parent Council Award. Congratulations, Jake. Ella Smith. Ella is a health and wellness specialist high skills major graduate. Ella will be attending the University of Windsor this fall in the Concurrent Education Mathematics Degree Program. Ella has been awarded the Renewable Dean's Entrance Scholarship of $1,250 per term, up to $10,000. While at BRDHS, Ella is most proud of the mark she earned in Ms. Nefyadov's class. Her favorite high school memories are of being in the leadership class and being involved in many school events. Ella has been awarded a 250 Ontario Principals Council Award. She has also been awarded a $200 Dr. Dupree Award, as well as a $50 Business Observer's Bursary. Congratulations, Ella. Haley Snyder. Haley will be attending St. Clair College in September. She is enrolled in the Pre-Health Sciences program. During high school, Haley is most proud of her mark in math. Haley's favorite BRDHS memory is Mettler Cup Dodgeball. Congratulations, Haley. Taylor Stainer. Taylor has completed the Ministry of Education's requirements and is receiving her French Immersion designation this evening. We wish you well in your future endeavors. Congratulations, Taylor. Dean Talek. Following graduation, Dean will become part of the local workforce. Dean will be working in retail at Canadian Tire. While in high school, Dean is most proud of his science mark. His favorite BRDHS memories are meeting all of his friends and our annual Mettler Cup Dodgeball Tournament. Congratulations, Dean. Cole Taylor. Cole has completed the Ministry of Education's requirements and is receiving his French Immersion designation this evening. Cole will attend Belver District High School in the fall to continue his studies. During his time at BRDHS, Cole is most proud of making honor roll for all four years and being named an all-city athlete. Cole's favorite high school memory is Mettler Cup Dodgeball in grade nine. Congratulations, Cole. Naomi Trelor. Naomi is a health and wellness specialist high skills major graduate. Naomi will be attending the University of Windsor in the Health and Biomedical Sciences degree program. Naomi is most proud of going to Swasa for swimming. She will always fondly remember the geography field trip to Turkey Point. Congratulations, Naomi. Nathan Tremblay. Nathan will attend the University of Windsor to pursue a degree in history. Nathan's favorite high school memory, Mettler Cup Dodgeball. Nathan stated that the thing he's most proud of is graduating. Congratulations, Nathan. Ian Trepanier. Ian will be attending the University of Windsor this September in the Business and Computer Science degree program. Ian has been awarded the $1,500 Odette Young Leaders Award and a $1,000 Entrance Scholarship. Ian is receiving his business certificate this evening. Ian's favorite high school memory is going out for lunch with his friends, and he is most proud of his marks in his business and computer science courses. This evening, Ian is being awarded a $500 GE Segain scholarship. Congratulations, Ian. Justin Vanthernote. Justin will attend St. Clair College in the Physiotherapist Assistant Program this fall. Justin is most proud of participating in numerous noble sports, including football, volleyball, basketball, and baseball. Justin's favorite BRDHS memories are winning Mettler Cup in grade 12 and winning most valuable player for baseball and hanging out with his friends. Congratulations, Justin. Jesse Villeneuve. Jesse will be entering the local workforce. Best wishes in your future endeavors. Congratulations, Jesse. Ethan Vinton. Ethan will be attending St. Clair College. All the best and congratulations, Ethan. Joshua Walton. Josh will return to Belver District High School to continue his studies. Congratulations, Josh. Charlie Wang. We wish you the best in your future endeavors. Congratulations, Charlie. William Weston. William has completed the Ministry of Education's requirements and is receiving his French Immersion designation this evening. William will attend St. Clair College in the Culinary Arts program this fall. 
Congratulations, William. Craig Wilhelm. Craig will return to Bellwood District High School this fall to continue his studies. During his time at BRDHS, Craig is most proud of achieving honor roll status for all four years of high school. Craig's favorite high school memory is winning Matler Cup. Congratulations, Craig. Jack Willavoice. Jack is a specialist high skills major graduate in business. Jack is receiving his business certificate this evening as well. Jack will be attending the University of Windsor in the Business Administration program. He has been awarded the Renewable Dean's Entrance Scholarship of $1,250 per term up to $10,000 and the $500 SHSM Scholarship as well as the First Robotics $1,000 Scholarship. During his time at BRDHS, Jack is most proud of being successful in his math classes. And Jack's favorite BRDHS memory? English class. Jack has been awarded a $500 Tetro Value Mart bursary this evening. Congratulations, Jack. Madeline Wong. Maddie is an environmental specialist high skills major graduate. Maddie receives her art certificate this evening as well. She will be attending the University of Waterloo this fall to pursue a Bachelor of Science degree in biology. Madeline has been awarded a $1,000 entrance scholarship. Maddie's favorite memories from high school are of her participation in the OELC leadership camps in grade 9 and 10. Congratulations, Maddie. Jonah Wood. Jonah is a specialist high skills major graduate in manufacturing. Jonah is also an Ontario Youth Apprenticeship graduate in precision metal cutting. Jonah will continue his apprenticeship studies as a general machinist. Congratulations, Jonah. Ray Young. Ray will be attending McMaster University this September. She is pursuing a degree in social science and psychology. Ray's favorite memory from Belver District High School is the English field trip to Stratford. Congratulations, Ray. Chase Yule. Chase is a specialist high skills major graduate in manufacturing. Chase also receives his technology certificate this evening. Chase will continue his education and then attend the University of Windsor in the Business Administration degree program. Chase has been awarded a $500 Ramatar Family Award this evening. Congratulations, Chase. David Zhang. David will be attending the University of Toronto in the Environmental Science degree program this fall. David has been awarded a $1,000 entrance scholarship. David's favorite noble memory is participating in the English debate. Congratulations, David. Mark Zhu. Mark will be attending the University of Toronto in the Communication, Culture, Information, and Technology program. While at BRDHS, Mark was proud of working hard to achieve good marks in his math courses. Mark's favorite noble memory is the video project that he created for his class. Congratulations, Mark. The time has come to introduce our valedictorian for 2020. Ella Smith is the daughter of Mrs. Renee Smith and Mr. Mike Smith. Ella is a graduate of Lakeshore Discovery School. On this momentous occasion, we'd like to say what a remarkable person Ella is. From our littlest noble to a shy grade nine student to a graduate who is known for organizing many school events as a leader on student council. Ella has become a true leader and the voice of morning announcements at Bellwood District High School for our noble family. Ella's teachers describe her as a very dedicated and intelligent student. She will no doubt continue to be an excellent student and blue and gold lancer at the University of Windsor in the fall. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Ella Smith. Welcome 2020 graduates of Belver District High School. I would also like to welcome Mr. Ash and Mr. Braithway, all of our wonderful teachers and support staff, our families, and anyone else who may be joining us on this special night. Although this is not the typical graduation we all expected, today is still a milestone in our lives that is worth celebrating. We did it. We survived high school. Congratulations, nobles. Each and every one of you should be very proud of how far you've come. We've all moved successfully through our four-year journey together as nobles and now await the next exciting steps in our lives. I find it funny that I'm standing before you today graduating from Belver District High School for my second time along with some of my classmates. Many of you may be confused by this, but back when I was in kindergarten, I'd planned to attend Lakeshore Discovery. The school was still under construction in September, so they had sent all of the kindergarten classes to Belver High. 
At the conclusion of our kindergarten year, the high school had a graduation ceremony for us where we all received diplomas as littlest nobles. All the teachers signed it. It's funny looking back at it now, seeing many familiar names like Ms. Moison, Ms. Molnar, Mr. Chudik, and even Ms. Gauz who wrote, see you in gym again in 10 years, which is so ironic as I actually was in her gym class 10 years later. At our kindergarten graduation, my dad, Mr. Smith, handed me my certificate as I walked across the stage. Ever since that day, he has looked forward to me becoming a noble and walking across the stage again to receive my official high school diploma. My parents always told me I could choose which high school I wanted to attend, but in all honesty, I really didn't have a choice. My dad bleeds green as he is a very passionate noble. His wardrobe consists of tons of noble gear which he wears almost every single day. I was born to be a noble and I know that I made the right choice coming to Bell River. I am deeply honored to stand before you today to give thanks to this school, our amazing staff, and to express gratitude to everyone who supported our learning. First, I would like to thank all of the amazing teachers at Bell River. Your dedication and passionate teaching is truly second to none. Thank you for all the quirky learning tricks you have taught us, like Mr. Bracken's Why Thingy Thingy or Miss Bell's Quadratic Formula Song, which we learned in grade 10 math that is now forever drilled into our brains. Each and every one of you has made a positive impact on our lives and we will never forget you. Especially Mr. Riley's dad jokes about having our socks untied or the word gullible being written on the ceiling. Or when Mr. Earls busted out his guitar and we were all shocked by his secret musical talent. And who can forget Miss Marantette's love for Justin Bieber, Madonna, and the Colorado Avalanche. To all the teachers who put in their own time to coach us in sports or to stay after school to give us extra help, we appreciate you. Thank you to Mr. Ash and Mr. Braithwaite, our outstanding principal and vice principal, for their continuous support and for always having the best interest in the students of Bell River. Thanks to our guidance counselors who always had our backs and to our secretaries who always had big smiles when I saw them as I got the pleasure to do the announcements with them for the last two years. And to the rest of the staff for allowing Bell River to be a true family. I want to say thank you to my parents for their unconditional love and always pushing me to be the best version of myself and to all the other amazing parents and families out there who have supported us since day one, even through our terrible mood swings. Only four short years ago, we started our high school journey as nervous little grade nines. We were excited for a new start, but had no idea for what was to come. Grade nine started many true friendships. I'm so grateful for Mr. Pula's love for adventures and field trips as he took our grade nine geography class on an overnight zip lining trip where I became close with many of my best friends that I have today. We slowly gained confidence as we progressed to grade 10 and 11, where we began to drive, try new things, and started to think about our futures. Now here we are at the end of our careers as high school students, realizing how fast time goes by. Many of us are excited for the future, but nervous for what is to come next. Belliver High School has been our second home for the last four years. We truly are a noble family. We look out for each other, work as a team, strive for excellence in academics and athletics, and support our community. Our school is like no other. Each student here has at least one staff member they can go to for advice or to confide with. Everyone is very accepting and willing to help. As we graduate today, we are closing this chapter in our lives. We have survived everything from staying up all night finishing assignments, sitting in boiling hot classrooms, writing killer tests, all while balancing part-time jobs, sports, partying and making the most of our teenage years. Although this is a bittersweet time, we will all cherish the memories we've made together being a noble. Every day we learned from one another, taught one another, grew from each other and made memories and friendships that will last a lifetime. We have grown personally, academically and will continue to grow into outstanding people. As we look back at our cringy grade nine school pictures, we are all very grateful for the glow ups we've had over the last four years. We became better people because of each other and the love and support we've had from the staff at Bell River. Without Ms. Sagama's permanent smile or Ms. Nefidoff's long lectures that made us go home and want to cry, well preparing us for life's challenges, we wouldn't be here today. As seniors, we have seen a lot in these last four years. Who can forget Cole Taylor's outstanding dodgeball performance at Mettler Cup in grade nine, where he nearly single-handedly took out the whole hockey gym class. Thanks, Cole, for making me and Miss Serino's grade nine art class dodgeball junior champs. Halloween at Bell River has also always been a big hit. 
Remember Gitinder's legendary lamp costume or when Lucas Clausen dressed up as Mr. Hawati for Twin Day and we all realized how much they really do look alike? It definitely was a little creepy. I will also never forget Miss Nefidoff's toothpick story or all the other times we got to recap our weekends in Mr. Tulagity's class. Lastly, something many of us will remember was in March of grade nine when we got to watch on a live stream our boys hockey team win OFSA in Fort Francis. Unfortunately, our time together was cut a bit short. Many of us wish we could have cherished our last days we had as a class. We may look back on this year and feel sad, but we must look on the brighter side of things. We've all persevered through many challenges, such as Esby crashing to our school blocking Snapchat on the Wi-Fi. We handed in our assignments, even if they were late, and overall survived high school. 2020 has been a crazy ride. Definitely not the year we're expecting, but one we will never forget. As nobles, we are ready for what the future holds. Regardless of your pathway, we are all prepared for what lies ahead. As we move on with our lives, there will be many challenges, mistakes, and many other obstacles along the way. We must not take these as setbacks, but as lessons that life is trying to teach us. Strive each day to move forward and do not dwell on the past. Keep your head up and these lessons will help you grow into a better person. This is your life and it is only up to you where you decide to go. I wish everyone many congratulations once again and best of luck for a bright future. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ella. Ladies and gentlemen, we at Bellevue District High School are very proud of our graduates. On behalf of all of us, I would like to express thanks to the parents and guardians who have encouraged and supported their sons and daughters in reaching this milestone. We salute all of the parents and guardians this evening. Today, we would like to honor in a special way, Ella's parents. To keep with tradition, despite our virtual platform, a bouquet of flowers was sent to Ella's mom as a token of our thanks to all of our noble parents. I now call on Ms. Geet Sidhu, one of the noble graduates of the class of 2020, to present the closing remarks. Geet. Today, I have the honor of pronouncing our closing remarks for this virtual graduation. I know that this isn't the Minecraft graduation we were all dreaming of, but it's an experience that no other graduating year will ever have. On behalf of all nobles, thank you to our amazing graduation committee and administrators for working so hard to provide us with a way to celebrate this milestone in our life. Thank you to all of our community donors for the generous awards. We truly appreciate your generosity. Thank you to our director of education, our superintendents, and our trustees from the board. Thank you to the noble staff who took time out of their day to personally deliver all of our grad packages. Lastly, thank you to our parents and our loved ones who got through to the end of this video. Given the situation we're in, I think we can all agree that there's no way to ever prepare for the future. What I've realized is that our future is not about all these grand things that we're going to accomplish. Of course, that's important, but it's about all the memories and times of growth leading up to those moments. When I think back to our time at school, I don't reminisce the big projects or big tests we had. I think about the nights before when I'd be crying about them with my friends. And although that may sound weird, the truth is I cherish those moments because it was with all of you guys. We have no idea what we're gonna accomplish in the next few years, but what's important right now is to take a few minutes to celebrate all of those memories. You are no longer tadpoles. The time has come for us to leave the swamp, Kermit the Frog. So with that being said, if everyone could stand up right now and each of you in your own living room, us standing together, let's all move our tassels from the left side of our hat to the right. Congratulations, nobles. We are now official graduates of Bell River District High School. Cheers to our three and a half years, and as Miss Nefidoff always says, forward. Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road Time grabs you by the wrist, directs you where to go So make the best of this test and don't ask why It's not a question but a lesson learned in time It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life So take the photographs and still frames in your mind Hanging on a shelf in good health and good time Tattoos and memories and dead skin on 
But in the end it's right I hope you had the time of your life It's something unpredictable But in the end it's right I hope you had the time of your life Stuck in the middle of the sea I'll sail the world To find you If you ever find yourself lost in the dark And you can't see I'll be the light To guide you Find out what we're made of When we are called to help our friends in need you can count on me like one, two, three, I'll be there. And I know when I need it, I can count on you like four, three, two, and you'll be there. Cause that's what friends are supposed to do, oh yeah. And you're turning and you just can't fall asleep I'll sing a song beside you And if you ever forget how much you really mean to me Every day I will remind you Oh, find out what we're made of When we are called to help our friends in need you can count on me like one, two, three, I'll be there. And I know when I need it, I can count on you like four, three, two, and you'll be there. Cause that's what friends are supposed to do, oh yeah.
can almost see it that dream i'm dreaming but there's a voice inside my head saying you'll never reach it every step i'm taking every move i make feels lost with no direction my faith is shaken but i Gotta keep trying Gotta keep my head held high There's always gonna be another mountain I'm always gonna wanna make it move Always gonna be an uphill battle Sometimes I'm gonna have to lose It ain't about how fast I get there I'm facing the chances I'm taking sometimes might knock me down but no I'm not great 